Hello. Right, I'm going to make this soup. Sharon, I hope you've got a pen and paper ready. Um, I'm just going to run through the ingredients and then I will take it from there. Okie doke. Here we go. You will need spray oil, four peppers, a medium onion. That's 630 grams of tomatoes. To be honest, 600, 650, it's not going to make that much difference to the outcome of the soup. It will still taste nice. Four large cloves of garlic. In here, I've got two teaspoons of oregano and two teaspoons of basil. Tin of plum tomatoes. Tin of sliced carrots. 250 grams of red lentils. And two more vegetable stock cubes. Right, so I'm going to go now and I'm going to start chopping all this up and once I've done that, I'll come back. Right, I have cut up the peppers and the onion and it's in here and what I've done is I've actually sprayed this with the oil rather than spraying the pot. I just somehow think it goes further. Um, so I'm just going to fire this in the pot and add some salt. So hang about. <coughs> That's what it looks like in the bottom, if you can see that. I think having a wider pot will help. Um, it just means that the peppers, nearly all the peppers are touching the surface, so it's going to get the heat and therefore they'll, they'll um, soften and break down quicker. Um, at this point, I'm going to add the salt. I forgot to mention that in the ingredients, so I'm going to do that now. Um, right, hang on. And that's what I think is roughly two teaspoons. So, and it needs that amount of salt. Trust me, it does. So, I'll fire that in. Give it a stir. And I'm going to shove the lid on and just leave it now. So whilst that's sort of breaking down, what I'll do is I'll uh, cut up the tomatoes and do the garlic and I've already got the stock in, a, in the jug getting made. Um, and I'll be back. Keep an eye on the peppers. If you hear it starting to let sizzle quite a wee bit, give them a stir. If you think it needs a wee bit more oil, fire a bit more in or you can actually add some olive oil or sunflower oil. I do it this way to cut back the calories. Um, I'd rather use the points on the cheese at the end, to be honest with you. Um, if you think it's getting too hot or if you think it's sticking, then just fire on a wee splash of boiling water. And I mean just a wee splash, maybe like 25 mils, something like that. And put the lid on it and it'll help maybe sort of steam them. Okay. Um, but it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Right, I'm back. Right. This is what it looks like after 10 minutes. I mean, it has softened really quite a bit. There's a lot of moisture in there. That's without any extra oil or water added. Um, and it's coming together. I'm just going to give it another two or three minutes and then I'll add the tomatoes. Right, <clears throat> that's about 15, 16 minutes that's been on for. And the onions are really getting quite translucent now. Um, the peppers, yep, they're definitely a lot softer. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to add the tomatoes and the garlic. Give that a quick stir. Lid back on, back in the, the cooker for about maybe another 10 minutes until it all really starts to break down. Right, this is after 10 minutes. Um, the tomatoes are nice and soft. Everything is actually really nice. Um, you can see it all, you can see all the sort of juices coming out over oh, through the through the steam. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of the ingredients now. 
and the silver pen and the, the herbs. Give that a stir. That smells amazing. Lentils, carrots, and I might. No, I have a The tomatoes. And I'm going to wash that out with the, um, what do you call it? The uh, stock. <laughs> Right, that's the stock added. All I have to do now is just add a litre of boiling water, put it back on and let it simmer for 40 minutes. Oh, 10 minutes to go. Oh, I'm starving. Right, it's now 10 minutes later and that's the soup done. Um, I'm just going to blitz it now with the hand blender, which I don't think you're going to want to watch and I'll come back once I've plated it up. Right, that's it. All portioned up. Um, I'm just about to put a wee garnish in mine, so I'm going to put a wee, just a wee pinch of basil. Some black pepper. And where's my, there we go. And I'm just going to grate a wee bit of parmesan. On. And that's me. Hope you've enjoyed this. See you in Wednesday. Bye.